AITAH affair and separation. Husband cheated and then I met someone while separated. So my soon to be ex husband who I have been with for 20 years cheated on me with a work colleague and after years of arguing about his parents who ruined my wedding by telling me I was not welcome to their family, which made me burst into tears, as I had hurt my mill made her cry all because at the time I believed it was because I hadn't had a bridesmaid of their choice slash family tradition. I gave reasons why I didn't. This was 10 years ago. Four days after the wedding, they summoned my husband to theirs to tell them that I was not welcome needed to apologize for my behavior. They blamed things on my family mainly my father not saying he's innocent as he was drunk at the reception, blamed my brothers who wanted to make sure I was okay for having agendas. My husband never defended me or stood up for me. I decided after that to pull myself and my daughters away from them as my daughters had heard my mill say things about me while they had looked after them while we were away. My in-laws did always help with childcare before, there is also more context to how his mother treated me after the birth of my second daughter. So because I pulled away me and my husband and frequent arguments about them. This I have found out in the last day was the reason why he seeked comfort in a work colleague started an emotional affair and slept with her in 2019 which he told me in January. The reason only being told yesterday along with he had also slept with her in 2022. And then after leaving me in October after I told him to go he started up a relationship with her. I had suspected it for so long and to have it confirmed was a huge wake up call. As he had lied so much when I used to ask him what was going on. So by the end of November I had started chatting to a guy on a dating site and we got in really well and ended up on a few dates and then after 4 weeks he booked a hotel for us and we slept together and had a really lovely time away. I was happy and felt so much freedom and confidence as it had been knocked knowing his affair happened and felt ugly. About 3 weeks after we had gone away we had a few more dates and spoke daily but the guy was having some issues with BPD and needed space and he was very honest and we decided we were better as friends and agreed we had some amazing memory. During this time my husband had seen pictures of me all happy and smiling and also the fact my daughter 17 broke down when he had the children telling him oh was never there for her when she was there for me. Which I kind of disagree as I was always home after dates by 10pm and went away for one night. Yes I was tired as I was processing a lot and also working 40 hours a week. I thought my relationship with her was really good and she would moan about her dad and the affair just as much as I. Long story short husband comes back absolutely broken telling me he loved me wanted me back and would do anything could see the issues I had with his family clearly. I listened and comforted him, more than he ever did for me, said he wanted to be the one to make me happy. He had stalked all media platforms to try and find pictures of me. I cave took him back. Six weeks later after him painting our home, both agreeing to buy a puppy, some new furniture he's told me I'm negative and not the person he thought he was coming back to. Me and my daughter had also had a massive argument which hurts me to this day. She told her dad why she was frustrated with me and I had been off out on dates all the time with this guy etc and left her at home alone even though her boyfriend was meant to be coming over and I asked if she was okay for me to go. He has now used this against me and told me in a roundabout way I am no better than him for his affair. It was dirty and sleazy. The guy was probably a prolific Tinder dater. He's not as I spoke to him yesterday as I needed clarity and he helped me process what I had been told by my ex and then sent load of links on guidance on ex's behavior. He was also angry that I was having to defend my actions to my ex. I felt I had to give my ex a blow by blow account of what I got up to, which was met with I have to get over that someone else has been in you. Now I know I'm unreasonable for this next part and I hate myself. My husband had been writing a journal about all his emotion. He left at the kitchen and I didn't look but when I had been crying and he saw he angrily said you ah e looked at this haven't you. This raised my suspicions so while he was out I found it on the floor in the bedroom and read only a few pages from the recent days, where he spoke of telling my daughter he was happy with the other woman and then another line of she is safe, new rental and saw her kids on Mother's Day, this referred to the woman he had the affair with. This was after many times of me asking that it was over and that he wouldn't take her back. When I confronted him about this he went crazy and told me he was done and I betrayed his trust. I had to leave the house to stay with my parents with my dogs and my 9 year old boy as he would not leave. I'm broken and hurt as all he is saying now is that my daughters were not okay with me seeing someone and I am no better and I portrayed him in an awful light to everyone because of what he did. I used him as a punch bag, verbally. A month ago he gave me a card professing his love for me and thanking me. Over a week ago he was comforting me and told me he loved me. I raised a concern last Thursday and now I am on this position. I'm not innocent and can hear him say this is all rubbish and only my side of the story. He also said before I left that I still need to pay towards the house while I'm gone. He earns way more than me and has more money left over for himself to what I do. I now have an awful relationship with my 17 year old. And my 18 exclamation mark year old daughter is at uni. While we have an amazing relationship I am struggling that she feels the same way even though she told me different and to actually post on here. She doesn't see I'm the bad one. Just agrees me and her dad shouldn't be together. She actually told me back in Jan not to get back with him. Sorry this may be jumbled and I'm happy to clarify more but my brain is so jumbled right now and I feel solely responsible for this outcome and his affair and that I am no better.